Alrighty. Well, my name is Dan Nelson. I am from Moorfield, Nebraska. I've been on the Middle Republican NRD board for the past four years. And on those four years, I've served as the treasurer of the district. And two years ago, I was elected by all three basin NRDs to the Nebraska Natural Resource Commission. And I serve as the Republican River member on that commission. And eight years ago, I graduated from the University of Nebraska with a degree in agricultural economics. Soon after that, I moved back to Moorfield, where I farm with my family in Frontier in Lincoln County. We have a diverse operation, and half of our cropland is irrigated. Most of our acres are in the rapid response area. They're kind of close to the Medicine Creek. And those acres are subject to a shutdown if a compact call is ordered. This makes me, my neighbors, and many people in this room very nervous. And I want to make sure that a plan is in place to make sure that all irrigators have access to water. And, but this plan must spread the burden of compact compliance on all irrigators. And I also want to build strong partnerships between NRDs, surface water districts, and the state and federal agencies to help solve these problems. One example of this would be Red Willow Lake. I think the NRD should partner in its reconstruction. Uh, recently, me, Joe Andrzejewski, who's also on the Middle Republican Board, and our manager, Dan Smith, and some, uh, uh, there was another guy from the upper. We met with the Bureau of Reclamation in Washington, D.C., and we offered our support in building or rebuilding the dam and asked them what we could do and to keep us in the loop. Uh, Red Willow Lake benefits, benefits all people in the district, and I really feel that all people need to, upstream and downstream of that reservoir, need to share in the benefit. Uh, some of the benefits include our flood control, irrigation, recharge, and by recharge I mean alluvial recharge too, that helps stimulate stream flow, and of course recreation. But there also is a concept of flexible water management that could also be derived from managing the water flows in and out of that reservoir that could help benefit compact compliance, and that's where the NRD comes in. And I guess I'll be open for questions. Yeah, Daniel, I discussed that uh, the main the IMP plans from the NRG board went back and forth on here recently. What are your thoughts regarding that? Um, do you believe it was something that's going to have a, a more positive or negative impact on the board? Well, it, it was, that was probably, I mean, being on the board for four years, I haven't been on there that long, but that was probably the most stressful two months I've ever had on the board. Uh, the IMP gives us the tools, tools to manage the situation. We, we got our occupation tax back. Uh, it, does, it does, however, have that shutdown in it. The, the state, I, for those of all don't know, the state mandated three options, or we had to choose from them. The first one was go to a 4.8 inch hard cap. Well, that's half of our you know, average pumping, which ranges from 10 to 12 inches. So that basically means half the acres would be shut down all the time. And that really wasn't a solution that keeps Main Street in business. And then the other two options were basically shut down areas. Uh, option three had the smallest shutdown area. But I guess what that, you know, looking besides that shutdown area, I mean, I'm in it, it, it really makes me nervous. But, um, it gives us the tools to manage that, so we're not we're not relying on that shutdown area. When we passed the IMP, we, we wrote in that IMP that we were not restricting compliance options to just that shutdown area. We we vowed well we're passing new rules and regulations. We're working on them now, and that's going to keep us from ever having to use that. We're going to have a rolling average, and everybody, all irrigators, will have a allocation that is based on supply and demand of water and, and not just a number that we pull out of space and uh, I think that'll be more fair and, and hopefully in, well, it's going to stop 
that compact compliance or the compact call, excuse me, of being the only solution for compact compliance. Um, you and Mr. Lemus have both noted that the IMP gives you the tools you need to conform, but that it, it has problems. How do you see us moving forward from here, and how do you see us moving past the obstacles that will be raised to those solutions? Well, as far as the tools go, uh, there's a lot of programs out there uh, as far as uh, retiring acres, surface water buyouts, but in particular the retiring of acres, we got the AWEP program. It's federally funded on some of it and approximately 10% of that has to come from a local uh, cost share. Well, that occupation tax gives us the ability to generate those federal funds. I, I believe I think we're in for $300,000 over five years, and we're collecting a little over $2.5 million to retire acres, which is a big boost to the economy around here. And I guess as far as, you know, the IMP goes, uh, everyone, you know, those, those solutions have to come together, and it's going to take cooperation amongst everyone, rather it be a surface water district, an irrigator, or, uh, yeah, basically, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's going to help us. I guess in closing, uh, when I started on the NRD board four years ago, we were in the red. In 2006, we uh, purchased water from Frenchman Cambridge Irrigation District. And that purchase and timely rains got us in compliance ahead one year quicker than just rainfall alone. Today, we are in the black, and responsible management will keep us from water short scenarios and avoid shutdowns. We all have to work together on this situation as irrigators, and, and I think the irrigators really do need to be commended for the practices they've put in to reduce their pumping. Uh, I remember when I was a younger we laid pipe lots of pipe and and uh, now we got pivots we're, we're getting by with a third less water than what we were before and and that's the big deal is is I mean it's it's gonna take a cooperative effort and uh, the stakes are high and I'm up to the challenge and uh, and basically, I'd, I'd appreciate your vote on November 2nd. And uh, we have a website, or I have a website, www.nrdvote.com. And we'll be updating that with more information as time goes on.